Celebrities, politicians discuss nationwide discrepancies, hardcore tackling issues in our community, spreading our knowledge, creating the opportunity. Tune in live with light skin looks. 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 Yes, indeedy. Yes, indeedy. Yes, indeedy. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Live with Light Skin Lou. I'm your host, Light Skin Lou, and this young lady to my left is my co-host, the lovely Kiki. Today, we got very, very, very special guests in the building. But before we bring them out, I would like to thank last week's last week's guest, Antonio the Magic Man Tarver and Antonio T2 Tarver Jr., for stopping by and showing love and thanking you guys for your continued support. So continue to hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And now let me introduce this guy. This young man is one of the finest fighters to come out of South Philly, former WBO, NABO lightweight champion, who also has a fight April the 15th against Ernesto Mercado. He is none other than hammering Hank Lundy. (laughs) <laughs> that's right that's right what's up hank what's going on champ man ain't nothing man ready to get it man talk to these chumps hey hank but before we get started man i want to offer my condolences to you and your family man i understand you lost your dad you just buried your dad yeah. um want to offer live with light skin lou Light Skin Lou and Kiki, we would like to uh, offer our condolences to you and your family. I appreciate it, man. Much love and respect. Appreciate it. Yeah, that's right, man. But we, hey, hey, look, hey, Hank, as promised, as advertised, we're going to get into this thing, man. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get it. Yeah, man. Yeah. Listen, no, no, listen, don't hold nothing back. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I like about you. Hey, let's start out by letting everybody know a little bit about yourself and how you start putting those gloves on, man. Oh, man, you know, Got in the game, yeah. You know I mean, I'm gonna be real. It was um fighting outside in, in the schoolyard, man. Knocked somebody out cold, man. I was fighting all my life, man. You know, certain kids, most people don't understand when you know kids have a lot on their mind or going through a lot, mm-hmm. you act out and you fight. And that's what I was doing, you know. Um, my whole third grade year, man, mine was diagnosed with schizophrenia, schiz- schizophrenia, and um the only way I could deal with it was fight, you know, and you know that's that that was me growing up fighting, you know, to, to um express my pain, you know, you know I played football. That was another way I um let out my anger. But you know, my last year in high school knocked this guy out. He wasn't supposed to be on school premises, you know. The the principal say, "Go home, Tyson." <laughs> the principal see me knock my teeth out. You know what I mean, it's front tooth. They called you Tyson. Out. Listen. He called me Lil Tyson, man. He had <laughs> boy had a nautical sweater on, a clean nautical sweater. I remember hitting this boy. He was jealous of us, you know what I mean? You know, I was a young boy getting to the girls. You know, he was he, he hate the shine. <laughs> and I hit this boy, man, knocked his front tooth out, man. His whole nautical sweater was it was it was cream. It was full of blood. You know what I mean? They <laughs> one, one, of, one of my homies I was with picked his tooth up and gave it to him. Said, hey, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I see him oh, in the lunchroom. Man. Listen, I was one of the dudes. I do all my school work, then I get kicked out the class. I go down in the lunchroom and gamble. Yeah, you know I mean, so <laughs> I'm walking by. I see this dude coming out the nervous joint with a, an ice pack on his tooth and his tooth in his hand. I just put my hand there to check my hand. <laughs> <laughs> but I tell you what, man, it's been a blessing because I know he he he's sitting back and he probably watching this or watching me on TV like that, man. I should be famous, man. He knocked my tooth out. 
Oh man. <laughs> It's all love, though. My bad, homie, man. You know. <laughs> it's all good, man. I mean, hey, look, you grew up in South Philly, right? Yeah, and, South and, Philadelphia. Yeah, it's tough up there because uh, me and the lovely Kiki, man, we took the liberty uh, to going up to uh, Philly. It's right. this guy who uh, does the Rocky tour. Right, right. You, yeah, I don't know if you know about it. He takes you around to all the sites where Rocky was filmed at. Right. And, uh, it's tough up there, man. And I was like, I thought I grew up in DC. Right. Man, Philly make DC look like a daycare center. Oh man, <laughs> I, I'm up front DC got they parts too. I was down there, you know what I mean? But you know, my hometown, man, listen, they rough, man. You gotta be a different breed to come up in these streets, and especially make it. Yeah. yeah. So my question to you, Hank, is how did you survive, man? Because I gotta say, man, I was just I was because the guy who he was going to tour with, he warned us. And I'm like, man, I grew up in the city, dude. Ain't nothing you can show me. <laughs> hey, 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 Hank, let me tell you. He showed me something, and I was like, I'm going to listen to what you just said. We ain't even going to get out the van. Yeah, we just <laughs> was overreacting. He told us, he was like, you know, um, we can't let you out in some certain parts. And we was like, oh, he overreacting. But when we went, we was like, oh, Okay. <laughs> Listen, yeah. you would have been in my Hank London. You would have got out of there. Yeah, you know I mean, listen, yeah. we would we just stand ten toes down. They know they know what's up. You know what I mean, so that's my you... city. I love my city though. They got a lot of respect for me because I'm one of them guys. I'm not bougie. You know mm -hmm. what I mean, I've been yeah. all over the world, been on TV, made all mm -hmm. types of money. You know, got a little money, but at, at the end of the day, I ain't bigger than nobody. Like a lot of guys respect me because. You know, I remember one time I just got finished fighting on ESPN. The next day, I'm sitting on the corner with the homies. And the homies got guns, drugs on them. The cops ain't even bothered because I was out there. Damn, champ, you just got finished fighting. He pulled off. Oh, y'all be safe, man. Get off these corners. I'm going to let y'all chill because y'all with the champ. Man, they left. Cops said, they said to me, the homie said to me, yo, we was dirty, Hank, man. We appreciate you. I said, y'all can't be moving like that, man. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so that's why I was just curious, Hank. How did you make it, man? Like, that's, that's a tough to come up and and surviving and make it to where you are now, man, you know? So well, how you know you what that? it was, too? It was more so me growing up, you know what I mean? My father was never there, and I wanted my kids to have something different. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I ain't want to be not there in my kids' life. So I said, you know what? And I ain't punching nobody clock. You know what I mean? I said, listen, I got to, I got to, I got to do this because I know I ain't, listen, I ain't taking orders from nobody. Okay. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, I said, this boxing stuff, it's not going to work. It has to work. I have no option. It has to work. And I made it work. That's right. Yeah, that's right, man. That's right. Now, I, you know, I, you were signed to fight Adrian Brown. And let me tell you, Hank, me, I talked about this a year and a half ago. I said right. if these two dudes was to fight, man, the press conference probably was going to be the main event. Yeah. And I was so yeah. looking forward to it, Hank. Oh, listen, listen, listen. Don't do that because it's coming right back in, on summertime. Okay. Oh, okay. It's coming so, back in the summertime, and everybody know it, man. Like this guy, and this what I were. I'm gonna say it like this: I rather Adrian go on there, do what he got to do, knock this young boy out, because I don't want to hear no excuses. I ain't okay. been in the ring. Okay. I ain't been doing this and that. I want the best Adrian Broner. You know what I mean? So I'm rooting for him to win. But then when he circle back around. You gotta meet the old school ah. junkyard dog that's in the back of the junkyard. The, so, the little so, pups, they the little pups trying to nibble and bite on me. I'm kicking them. Get your lawyer. Get out of here. Get out of here. You know what I mean? Oh man, did we lose Hank? You know I mean? I'm I'm here. Yeah. You know okay. I mean? So so what happened though? So what happened with the fight? Was it something legal? Like tell yeah, us. Yeah, it was it was happened. it was more so I had a fight coming up, you know what I mean? I got Got a, had a little cut, you know what I mean? So I pulled out the Adrian Bronin fight, and you know, at the end of the day, you know, um, you know, the promoter was upset. Like I told him I had a cut, he was upset, you know what I mean? He believed me, so they got me suspended. But you know, he just doing his job, it is what it is, you know what I mean? So I would have been cleared to go by the time the Adrian Bronin fight was um going to take place, right. you know. So once they see mm -hmm. that, oh, you you just threw us underneath the bus, you left us hanging. Oh, uh, you know, you know, I, I respect it. I understand it. You know what I mean, it's no water underneath the bridge. You know what I mean, but you know, what God got for you, it circle right back around. So mm -hmm. I'm a, I ain't gonna front this boy, Nesso, whatever his name is. Listen, like I told him, I said, 
You they they putting you in over your head. You know what I mean? <laughs> you told him that hey. I got more knockouts than you got wins. You know what I mean? I'm coming and I ain't let you mess up nothing. It's yeah. gonna be hell to pay. April the 15th, you're gonna get what you want. <laughs> and I mean it. I mean it. I'm not coming there to lose. I'm not playing. You're gonna have to kill me. And that's the mentality I take in this ring. You know what I mean? You're not doing that. You first of all, you slow as hell. <laughs> I can beat you on points. You know what I mean? Tell you the truth. My foot, I got, I'm ready to dance. You know what I mean? I'm ready. I stay ready. So you don't have to get ready. Yeah, all day. That's Philadelphia. I'm ready to fight him now. You know what I mean? <laughs> I get one of these guys that's walking off the street that can that can fight him and whoop him. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> really? you know what oh, me? man. <laughs> so after you fight on April 15th, then y'all gonna plan to fight back, um, probably bring it back and be able yes, to Yes, sir. Fight. Everybody was listen, that, that that fight broke the internet. When we announced it, it broke the internet. Yes, you know I mean ready. it broke the internet. Yeah, it yeah. did. It it right did. And now I think it's gonna be even powerful because he's gonna come off a win. Yes. I'm gonna come off a win. It's gonna be great. It's going oh man, listen. I can't wait. Oh man, that press conference is gonna be something else, ain't it? Woo wee. No, hey, oh hey. man. <laughs> I'm hey, look. up to the fight. It's gonna be something else. Cause I want him to get that win and yeah, you know I mean, do his thing. Cause I want him to talk his talk. <laughs> I want to see the Adrian Broner, yeah, you know I mean, that I love, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But it ain't gonna be no love fight time. I already told him that he knows it. <laughs> yeah, you got if I'm not mistaken, you guys have history. You you've been in several of his training. Yeah, camps. I know already. it. I know it. So why 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 you think they 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 ain't fight guy like me? They know I'm coming to fight, man. They know I'm a problem. Mm -hmm. But you know, I do respect him for taking the fight. You know what I mean? I, I do, do too. I do respect him. You know what I mean? It's all love. I do respect him for taking it. But it's war time, you know what I mean? I'm in my listen, camp start next week. It's hell to pay. Yeah. All right. It's hell to pay. Then I'm going straight into camp for the next fight. You know what I mean? You're going straight through him. I want that summertime smoke. That's what I'm talking <laughs> about, man. So, That's hey, right. you, you 39, man, and I see you fight. You fighting the young guys. You showing them. You schooling them. Uh, what's the secret to your longevity, man? Because usually 39 in boxing, people, they're kind of like throwing you out to the sea, man. How have you stay young and stay relevant in the boxing <laughs> game? Man? <laughs> what you mean, man? I'm young, man. I mean, I'm making these young boys look bad out here, man. Listen, and I'm letting y'all know I'm 39, I'm pushing 40, and I'm still beating up on you chumps. You know what I mean? And I'm, I'm in great shape. I'm in shape. I'm in shape. The champ in shape. They say, get in shape. Nah, the champ already in shape, baby. <laughs> Listen, I'm eating good. You know what I mean? Ain't no smoking and drinking. I'm feeling good. Man, I'm living my best life right now, man. Listen, they got hell to pay. They definitely got hell to pay. <laughs> Yeah, he does, man. I love his spirit, man. Ladies and gentlemen, y'all just getting in here, man. Hit that like button. Y'all know how I feel about y'all coming in here and not hitting that like button. That's like coming in my house and not wiping your feet. We ain't here chopping it up. We're hammering Hank Lundy. He got a fight on April the 15th. And then after that, he going to take on Adrian Broner. That's what the plan is. So, yes, sir. Yeah. So ducking and boxing, uh, Hank, it's always been a problem for me. So, uh, you're a real type dude, so I'm gonna right. ask you this: How do we stop this ducking in boxing? How, how do we do it? Man, we gotta go back to the old school time. You know what I mean? Listen, if you got a belt, ain't no ducking nobody. You, you gotta defend that belt, man, and get rid of all these goddamn belts, man. Okay. You know, get rid of all everybody in champ. You know what I mean? I got the we got the Martin Lawrence on the CB. <laughs> the CB <laughs> <champ>. <laughs> fight. He eat a tomato can. That's all he fight. 
And this is the one when you fight now, it's for the WBA NABA belt, right? The I ain't even heard of that belt before, but you know what I mean? I, I take it. That's what I That's what I take it. I add I, I, no, no, oh, shade, no shade to, to the um, no, the sanction belt sanction. I want that belt. I, I put it in my trophy case. Yeah, I need that belt. You know what I mean? So whatever belt that is, I'm sorry. I, you know what I mean, it's WBA. We want it. We coming to get it. That's right. We, we coming to get it. We want that belt. Wow. So when I see a style like you, Hank, when I see a style like yours, I was always curious of what fighters inspired you uh, coming up. Cause you got a, you got a real tough and rugged style. I'm not gonna lie, um, the streets. <laughs> 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 no, I'm, I'm gonna put a listen. One of my one of my guys I used to love to watch when I was playing football was Sugar Shane Mosley and Bernard okay. Hawkins. You know what I mean? I can see that. Yeah, you know I mean, I, I love them two guys. You know what I mean? You you kind of see a little bit of that in me, and I, I grew to love Martin Hagler. You know what I mean? You know, um. Most definitely, it was on Muhammad Ali, but you know, guys like that, man. I I, I love Marvin Hagler, man. He's a dog, man. And mm-hmm. then I gotta put the old school Gypsy Joe Harris, cause I got a lot mm-hmm. of people that say, "Hey, you remind me of Gypsy Joe. You do some unbelievable stuff in that ring." Yes, you do. You never know what I'm gonna do. It's fighting, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I love it, man. I love it. As I look at um. You know your amateur career. I think you was like sixty-five and five. Yeah. And Hank, people out there, they don't know. I think you started like eighteen. You started 18. at age eighteen, yep. man. Eighteen, yep. So it was a lot of time lost, but you were able to get in at the age of eighteen and have a record of sixty-five and five, man. Uh, what do you remember most about your uh, your amateur career? Dumb dudes was on a point system. I was fight fighting. Okay. <laughs> I was so, fight fighting. I'm trying to make it out the hood. You know, I think around that time I was what like 18. So I'm trying nobody had a name in my family for boxing. So I'm trying to stand out. I'm trying to be the one. Listen, I wanted to go to the NFL at one point. I played semi-pro football, you know what I mean? As we speak to this day. I'm, I'm the only guy in Philly that played semi-pro football and box. We talking about full equipment. Wow. Full equipment. Cracking people. I play safety. Cracking people. Covering the field, running with these young boys, still fast. I'm still fast. I got some speed. You know what I mean? I got a chance to bless the field with my oldest son, man. My oldest son, 21. Play yeah. on college ball. I got a chance to play football when he played corner. This boy, all-star, play, play on um, receiver, play um quarterback. Man, I don't know where the hell he got an arm from. That boy could throw a goddamn ball, man. I said, God damn, you ain't getting I don't know where you got that from. I know you got the football from me, but god damn. But I got a chance. We, we got a picture of me and him making a tackle together. You know what I mean? I mean somebody fumble, he picks it up and run. Hey man, listen, they said, man, damn, Hank Lundy the goat, man. He out there playing ball with his, you know what I mean, 21 year old son. What? You know, that's that's what it's all about, man. Right. Yeah, it is, man. Being able to play a sport. With your son, man, that's well, that's know, a beautiful I know what thing. LeBron aiming for. Yeah, it's exactly. nothing like that. Soon. I would just get ready to say that he's aiming for that, and I think it's gonna happen, Hank. I yeah, really it's do. Gonna happen. He got two. It's going. It's definitely gonna happen. I'm living. I'm living a dream, man. I got the. I got the chance to take the field with my son. We both in the same uniform. It say Hank Junior. It say Hank Lundy Junior. Hank Lundy <laughs> on the field at the same damn time. That's right. That's, That's right. right. And if y'all in here, man, and y'all thinking that this guy just blowing smoke, man, I'm going to give you this guy just four names that's on your resume, Hank. Terrence Crawford, Chop Chop, Jose Zapato, Victor Postal. Guys like that, man. So I'm always curious, Hank. Drink which one of these tea. guys... Drink, drink my tea. That's right. <laughs> which one of these guys, if not all of them, who would you would love to have a rematch with? I want Crawford back. Give me Crawford. Okay. Because I ain't going to front. That fight, I was beating him. Yeah, I was winning that on. fight. I was winning that fight. He caught me, you know what I mean? But Hank Lundy, you know, I told Crawford this because he was at my last fight. You know, he told me they robbed me. Um, That's the one when I fought one of Golden Boy fighters, you know what I mean? Yeah. Put the boy down. They stuck me up without a gun. And I'm, I told Bernard, I said, man, put this boy in the weight room, man. Got this little boy in here with a grown <laughs> man. Is that shit not the fight? Yeah, no, not Shannard. Oh, okay. I, I, Shannard might be done. Okay. I, I, I listen, I cracked that boy chin. You know what I mean? I hit that boy so hard, man. I think I made him grow up. You know what I 
know what I mean? He, he, probably, he like 65 right now. You know what I mean? He turned into a grown man after I hit that boy, man. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, but I'm talking about the other boy. I think his name was Ryan or something. Martin. Mm. I don't know. But listen, I, after I got finished with that boy, me at a um the rock mine hickey on his head. Oh, you know what I mean, yeah, one of them John. My bad, rock mine. I like rock mine too. That's, that's my, my man. <laughs> yeah, that's my OG. But he had the hickey on top of his head. He had cut. He had the glassy. I said, y'all better take this motherfucker to the hospital. <laughs> I mean, he been hit, you know what I mean? Uh, he been hit a little bit too hard, you know what I mean? <laughs> that boy in the hospital, man. Oh, no. <laughs> oh man. Y'all just get to hit, man. Hank Lundy in here. We chopping it up, man. The always entertaining yeah. Hank Lundy, man. He hey, did. Hank, we about to change this thing up, man. I'm about to take the floor and give the floor to the lovely Kiki, man. She got a thousand questions, so uh, right, let's go. have at it. Let's go. <laughs> no, no, I just have a few questions. So um, my first question is about the Shannar Bunch fight. So right. I think y'all, your last fight was in December with Shannar Bunch, correct? Right. right. Okay, so he won by unanimous decision, but both of you had your moments. And I think you dropped him in like the eighth round with a left hook. So do you feel like he really won that fight or you really won that fight? I won that fight. Everybody okay. know what it was. Listen, at the end of the day, when I clipped him and put him down, mm -hmm. a fight break out in the crowd. They make us sit down. Mm -hmm. We ain't got nothing to do with that damn fight in the crowd. Let us fight. Why y'all stopping the fight? They know they would have let that fight continue. I'd have knocked him out. Yeah, because a lot of people say he was saved by the bell in that fight because they stopped. And I think they stopped fighting twice. And yeah. the he, 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 he know, like I said, he never going to be, you never be the same after get hit by the hammer. He's never going to be the same. <laughs> he ain't going to be the same. He's supposed to fight one of these young boys from Philly. They pulled out the fight. I told the young boy, he said, Hank, you know they trying to fight to fight me after the, um they fight you. I said, he ain't fighting that fight. I told the young boy that. Brandon, bro, I think his name Brandon Rosario. I said, yo, bro, okay. he not fighting that fight. Okay. He said, damn, Hank. I said, listen, I'm about to mess up your money. Don't be mad at me. He not fighting that fight. What, what I tell him? They pulled him out the goddamn fight. Wow. Man, he ain't fighting that fight. Man, he better go get his chin in short. <laughs> <laughs> I got a guy in Philly that, that do chin insurance. It's Greg Hackett. Hey, with Greg Hackett. You need to see. Yeah, go to go see Greg Greg Hackett. He he insure your chin. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely insure chins. Yeah, we need that Greg Hackett. Yeah. Oh goodness. Okay, so my next question. I think um I believe you said back in December you you had eight more fights before you right. retire. Right. Okay. So um when you retire, what do you want to be remembered for at the end of your career? I'm the junkyard dog. They already gonna know. I ain't turned down no smoke. I fought everybody. I went all across the world to get fights because mm -hmm. these guys in USA were scared to fight me. So I did what I had to do to be known. And you know what I mean? I just wanted to smoke. And they ain't want no smoke. So, you know, at the end of the day, I'm one of the real realest fighters in the game, man. I, I put it like this. I'm the streets and I'm the hood of boxing. You know what I mean? And I made it clear and made it known. You know what I mean? I'm gonna do it my way and only Hank Lundy okay. way. If you ain't on this train, man, you go the other way. <laughs> yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah, I, mean, I can rob a little bit. I love this dude, man. <laughs> I love this dude. <laughs> okay, so on April 15th, you're fighting Tito Mercado. What's your prediction for this fight? Decision I'm gonna, I'm, listen, listen, I'm going, listen, I'm going in there with the mindset to knock him out. I want to fight. Most people, they get pushed because they need money. I like to fight, dog. <laughs> oh, I'm going to knock you out. I'm going to do this and that. I hope you're ready. Man, I love to fight. I keep on telling this boy that. I love to fight. You think I ain't going to come ready? I'm That's trying to... First of all, you messed up a bag. Your promoter messed up a bag, a bag bag, which mm -hmm. I'm getting it back because I'm blessed. <laughs> I'm going a, I'm to a break this boy. I'm starting camp next week. I'm already in shape. Y'all yeah. got hell to pay. I ain't got no love for none of y'all, man. Y'all fighting at 135 or 140 or 140. No? 140. I like that. I like that weight for you, yeah. Hank. Listen, you, you see what been happening. Every yeah. every fight I had at 140, these guys been dropping. Yeah, I like that. They've been dropping. Hank. You know what I mean? I'm I'm strong. I'm I got look, I got NFL players that been around me, man. This guy Hank Lundy ain't no joke, man. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Training with me every day. <laughs> We got um one question in the chat. Let's see from Boxing Enthused. He said, "When did 
champ turned pro and who was the guys coming up with you at the time? I turned pro 2006. Um, that who who turned pro around that time? There was a lot of guys that already that was already pro. I just mm-hmm. was trying to make my name. Some of the guys that you see, actually, some of the guys they ain't even here no more. Like I'm, I think I'm in like my fourth era of boxing. Yes, I'm like in my fourth era, and I'm still winning. The only person, it ain't nobody else out here still boxing that started with me. Wow, this is my mm. fourth era of boxing. Mm. Yeah, that's some generation stuff right there, man. Yeah. Mm, it's my okay. fourth era. Wow. And then okay. I might go to whole. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't retiring at 40. I ain't retiring at eight more fights. I'm keep more going. I'm going past 40. <laughs> I told you, Kiki, it wasn't gonna be no eight. We talked about that's it. She gonna talk about Ooh. some eight. I said, no, nah, I got a feeling well, he gonna go a little I further. One time he said it, he said it, but I guess you know, you know what it was. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna keep it real. I was tired of all the robbery and all that, but I said, yes. you know what, man, listen. God called me to do this, man. You know, at the end of the day, it's not really about the money. Because, I listen, I can say I don't want to do this fight. And, and I can walk away because I got I got bread. I'm cool. You know what I mean? I'm blessed. But at the end of the day, I love this, man. You got the head. You got the head that's in you. I love to fight. You know what I mean? This is a gladiator sport. This is what I love to do. So I'm going to do it. You know what I mean? Ain't nobody going to tell me when I can and when I can't do it. Or oh, I think you should retire. I ain't retired nothing because this me is in me. <laughs> That's right. I I told you, Kiki. I said he ain't over. He going past eight. I already told you that. Because I'm he going clearly past eight. You know because mean? you said that you um. I I know in another interview or something I saw you said you turned pro later, so you still have a lot in you. Yeah. You're not like most people that turn pro young, so you could take right. It. I ain't got no wear and tear on me. Yeah. You know, most of these kids they've been doing it since they've been babies. By the time they get to 26 and all that, they burnt out. They punch. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean, I turned when I was a grown man. I'm 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 still I'm coming into my zone. You see what's going on. Every fight I've had since I got older, these guys been dropping like flies. I remember they said <laughs> I ain't had no punching problem. You see me cracking these dudes, putting mm-hmm. them there. Can hammer and ain't punch? What can he punch? That nigga <laughs> <I> got hammer. <laughs> 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 okay, two more came in. Um, Lucius, two more questions. Yeah, go ahead, get the chat. Okay, so Jamal wants to know who, um, if you have a dream fight, who will it be with? Let me see, dream fight. Um, I can't say Bernard because if that's Philly, I can't go against Philly. <laughs> I, I want to end prime Sugar Shane, man, because that was my guy. I like want Sugar that. Shane to one of them, man. I want Sugar Shane, man. Or, or give me um the um the the um the guy from Venezuela um that was beating everybody up at one thirty five. He got killed. He got killed. I forgot his name. He was from Venezuela. He was a bad bull. Um, mm. oh, he was at one thirty five. He was running through everybody, man. I forgot his name. He was a bad bull, but he ended up getting killed. You remember him? No, I'm trying to. No, I can't. His name began with V. He was from Venezuela. You know bad bull. Boxing enthusiast in here. He knows everything. Boxing enthusiast. We putting you to work, man. <laughs> Who is this fighter that Hank's talking about, man? Yeah. Put it in the comment section, man. Hey, I forgot his name, man. He, I think he was with top rank, if I'm not mistaken. But he got killed. He was a bad bull. I mean, he was bad. I want him, man. But I don't. I don't care. Whoever was at 35 in the history books, I want him. Like I would like to fight. You know what I mean? I know he's bigger than me. I mean, I like to go at Marvin Hagler, man. I want the Warriors. I ain't running away from no smoke. I want the guys that could fight. And when that was some dogs. That's who I want to be in the ring with. The best That's fighting the best. Myself. And some of these, these suckers in this game now, I, yeah, I'm pointing at you. You. <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> Niggas scared to test their stuff. Excuse Call me. them I'm out, man. Stuff, man. <laughs> Y'all dudes don't really want to be great. Y'all want to cherry pick. You know what I mean, <laughs> I hate you guys, man. For real, I don't hate this guy for in my heart, but I hate these suckers. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I love this dude, man. I oh, love this dude. Man. Boxing enthusiast has a question too. Enthusiast, he wants to know: um, Are you going to fight in the UK again before you retire? Yes, I am. 
<laughs> if that money right, Hank be there at night. <laughs> <laughs> no, let me know. Let me know which one of these um young boys needs spanking. I'll be over there. <laughs> yeah, you you said you passing out spankings, dog. Yeah, I'm I'm passing out spankings, man. I'm the old paddle joe. <laughs> so what was that like fighting overseas though man what was that oh, like i liked it I, I ain't gonna front i liked it. i remember one night i had to run in the um damn snow because i had to make weight man i seen this big ass cat dart across the field <laughs> one of my damn trainers was running you know he had to be white he was my cousin <laughs> he was white he had his air pods in i i stopped running when i seen that big ass cat you know what i mean run across that road and he said, where you at, homie? I said, yo, you ain't see, you crazy. You ain't see that big ass cat dart right behind you. He said, no, nah, no, nah, where's it at? I said, see, I, I know why I ran with you, because you crazy. You gonna say, where he at? I'm trying, I went back the other way. I'm at the hotel. That's where I'm at. <laughs> That's how brothers in the hood do it. We we see stuff we don't recognize, man. We going the other way. We going the other way. I'm going the other way. Yeah, you know I mean, I ain't got time for this, man. This man crazy talking about where the cat at. Man, you about to get eight. <laughs> oh man, and we got the more questions in the uh, comment section. Uh, uh go ahead, Lou. And All I'm right. sitting here trying to find this box. <laughs> yeah, we gonna find them. We gonna find them before Hank leave here, man. Y'all just get yeah. in here, man. Hit that like button, hammer Hank Lundy. Y'all already know he told me he was gonna bring that thunder, and that's exactly what he doing. The junkyard dog. He said. I think I watched one of your interviews, man. You, you seem like you had a lot of on your chest. You said, man, I'm that junkyard dog that the, the dogs that they leave in the lot when they locking it up. And if you climb that gate, I'm going to eat your ass up, man. I'm going to eat you up. <laughs> I ain't playing no games with these suckers. I'm going to eat them up, man. You better stop playing with me, man. What's wrong with these suckers, man? For real. So, okay, when you eventually retire, like I said, we ain't going to put no time on it. You say right. you're going to go when you're going to go. When it's all said and done, how does Hank want to be remembered? Man, I, I, I think my legacy and everything, they, they already know. It's already solidified. A hard worker. A guy that ain't turned down no fights. Mr. Always Want to Smoke. That's right. You know I mean, I got, a strong, I got a strong legacy to follow. You know what I mean? So I know at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, ain't going to be too many that can follow this act. Yeah. That's what I like, man. I think somebody found that name, Kiki. I think somebody put it in the chat. He said Antonio something. Antonio Sermino? No, 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 no. It's a Venezuela guy. It wasn't him. Um, oh, man. The name will come to me when I'm least suspected because I just said his name the other day. It began with a V. For Venango, something, Philip. Venango, it was Ed, Ed, is it Ed, oh, I got Edwin, Edwin. Venango, Ed, 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 Edwin, Edwin Valero, yeah, Venero, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. he had the tattoo of his uh, on yeah, his chest, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. I remember, hey, hey, Hank, he was tough, but yeah, is that the one they said killed his wife or something? Yeah, 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 okay, I saw that, but I thought it was wrong because it said something about him killing his wife. <laughs> no, no, I, I thought somebody killed him. Yeah, you know I mean, his yeah, wife, he, somebody, he did somebody die. Had, yeah. yeah, they they locked him up and then he died or something. He was yeah, hanging. Yeah. Yeah. That was a bad boy, Evan Renee. Oh man, he was a bad boy, man. Yeah, they he, he had a huge following behind him, man. Cause yeah. he was getting people out of there. Yeah. Damn, yeah, man. Yeah, yep. I'm glad some appreciate you. Who who put that in there? Who 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 put the name in there? Um, yeah, that okay, was on like, point. Edvin Valero. Yeah, okay, you Kiki, you said that. Okay. Yeah, okay. and then, then this other guy said that he killed his wife, correct? Yeah, I think so. Yep. Yeah. That's what it said. I remember that guy, man. He had the tattoo of his country, the flag on his chest. Man, he was he 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 was the real deal, man. Yeah, he could fight. He could fight. I mean, he was that guy, man. I ain't gonna front boy was a monster, man. He was a monster. <laughs> so so what 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 drives you, man? What keeps you uh keep fighting i mean like you said you got that junkyard dog spirit but i was just curious like what what, what still drives you man I want you could be title. home on the beach somewhere man i and... want a world title that's it okay i mm. need my world title they robbed they robbed me of them for years i want my world title i'm gonna get one trust me i'm gonna get one before i hang it up yeah and i always look at your fights hank like like for me what bothers me about boxing right is the, the politics Right. And you you get guys like yourself, Antonio Tarver, the magic right, man who I right. just had on the show. Y'all never got a fair shake. So 
Why do, why do you think Hank never got his fair, his fair take? Because I ain't signed with a big time promoter. If I'd have signed with a big time promoter, you know what I mean? I'd have been undefeated, did all this and all that. But I, I love my career. I love everything about it and how it went. You know what I mean? I don't regret nothing. You know what I mean? That's what it all boils down to. And I'm one of them fighters that, you know what I mean? Your promoter say, you you, you say you want to fight me? They am like, no, you ain't ready. <laughs> you ain't ready. You ain't ready to fight him. Like, I ain't going to front. What was the guy named, um, little young boy, um, from top rank that just got, um, knocked out a couple times, you know what I mean? Um, Josue Var Vargas? Josue? That's, that's his name? Listen, he was calling out my name, Brad Goodman. I'm sorry, Brad, to put you out there, but Brad said, hey, he not ready for you. Young boy, when he forced it, paid him. Y'all see what I did to Cepeda on three week notice? Yeah. They yes. They somebody me. just broke that here too. Yeah. Somebody, somebody just put it in the chat. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hank. They said at least should have been a draw. Yeah, I beat the brakes off him on three week notice, and they robbed me. And listen, the young boy got in there, got knocked out. Young boy kept my name in his mouth. Oh, you went ten rounds with Hank Lundy. Hank Lundy put him down. Crap, Cepeda, and they ain't called my knockdown or nothing. That I know. The fight. And I, I was pissed about that, man, because I thought that was going to be uh, where you can kind of propel yourself in the boxing world and Listen, get your fair due, man. I was going to fight Josh Teller at that for that number one spot, and they took it from me. Wow. They took it from me. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. And he was that, that was supposed to be for him to fight Josh Teller. Look what happened. <laughs> Josh Teller vacated the belt because Josh Teller knew he was shitty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and look, he got Regis and got spanked. But Regis know at the end of the day, you know what I mean. He know what happened. Regis know you got you got my you got my finished work. I finished him. That's my work. He got your leftovers, dog. He got my leftovers. <laughs> I beat the brakes off that boy. I was hitting him every which way. You know what I mean? <laughs> Regis talking about if the Brony and uh, what you call him fight, he said he want the winner. You get the winner now. That's I ain't right. gotta fight Brony. You can fight me now. Yeah, man. As I look at Philly, man, y'all got two. Young promising fighters coming up. I'm gonna give you two names and you let me tell you tell me what you think. Uh Boots Enos and Cool Boy Steph. What's your thoughts my, on these guys? My guys, man. Listen, they 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 doing it, they doing what they're supposed to do. I've been watching Cool Boy and Boots, yeah. You know I mean, since they was youngest, man, and it feel good. You know, most guys, you know, they don't like to give people their credit. I've been telling people about these guys for years, man. For years. They bad, man. They yeah, bad. They are. They feel yeah. it. That's Philly at they bet at its best. They bad man. I love them guys, man. Keep on doing y'all thing. They keep me going. Yeah. I mean, Cool Boy said, man, listen. He said, Hank, don't 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 stop fighting, man. He told me, he said, don't stop fighting. That's right. I said, yeah, I got you, man. I'm in here. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'm in here. I'm in here like swimwear. Yeah. yeah don't stop till you're ready. Don't yeah, stop man. till you're ready, man. Don't let them. <laughs> hey, hey, don't let them run you out the door until you ready, champ. Listen, you see me? I'm young. I ain't got no gray hairs. <laughs> Nothing, I mean, Hank. Hey, hey for a minute, nothing. I thought you was putting that. Uh, what that stuff they oh, call? No, don't do that, Beijing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do that Beijing shit. No, I don't, I don't have no Beijing. Oh, man. I hate that stuff. Oh, they're going to have me looking like Leonard LB. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm going to keep it real, man. Oh, they man. They said, hey, stop that. Boots ain't fight nobody yet. That's man, what they You said. better stop, man, before I come and fight you. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, no, boots, boots can rumble, man. He's just making them look like they can't fight. I'm yeah. Young, he can fight, man. He the real deal, man. Now, Hank, I was at, me and Kiki was at that fight, the Tank Davis, uh, you know, fight. We was there. And right. uh, I was just curious, because you, 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 you'll give me your honest opinion. What right. did you think about Boots' last performance? Was it so much of what he what he was doing or what his opponent, or what what? Boots Look, wasn't doing or what his opponent was doing. The opponent was running. You know what I mean? Okay. He was running. So he made the fight difficult and made it boring. Like, you got to think about it. That kid, man, sharp. He can hit you with at different angles and all that, man. And that guy ain't want to take no chances. He ain't want to open up. He ain't want to open up to give Boots a chance. So he fought a boring fight. He ran. Yeah. He ran. Now, and if I a guy going to come in there and throw punches and, you know what I mean, fight, then you'll see You'll see a sight and fight. He probably would have stopped him. Boy, ain't want to fight, man. He came to run around the ring and get a check. <laughs> that's what he <laughs> and did. That's what no, that's what people in the audience were saying, man, because 
you know, the the magnet the magnitude and the atmosphere was there, and everybody was yeah. looking for uh, Boots to you know look good. So because honestly, they had it set up to where Boots and Speedy Ellis Speedy Speedy Ellis was going to end up fighting, and of course Man, Ellis listen, lost. Boots, and Boots is going to knock him out from the rip. Yeah, <laughs> he's going to knock him out from the rip. I ain't even gonna hold you. That's a fight that's been supposed to happen. Boots is gonna knock that boy out for the rip. I'm sorry. That boy wasn't doing nothing but boots, man. You could tell, man, certain the certain lights get to a fight. I seen that all in that boy's eyes, man. <laughs> yeah, you can feel it, man. Hey, hit that like button, y'all. I'm looking in here and I see we got 10 people in here, and now I don't see that many likes. So hit that like button, man. Show Hank some love, man. Hank, I got a couple more questions for you. We're going to let you get out of here, man. I know let's you go, uh, just go. coming from the gym, man. If I gave you three things that you could change in boxing, I know you probably got a thousand, but we're going to limit it to three. What would that be? The fight is scared to fight. Yeah, you know I mean, I, I feel as though if you got to fight, your mandatory ain't no step aside money. Fight the guy that's right, right next to you. Know what I mean, that's that's dead. The three blind mice, <laughs> the judges. <laughs> You know what I mean? And then it's across the street stuff, man. These promoters, you know what I mean? I don't like the fighters not fighting each other, man. If you the best in your division, man, you know what I mean? You fight the next man. Ain't no, oh, because he across there, oh, that fighter with that that promoter. Forget all that, man. Fight. Take boxing back to the old school time. Matter of fact, and I'm going I'm to give you one more. Take boxing back to 15 rounds. Ooh. Wow. I heard you say you wanted a 15 rounder before you left, man. Yeah, I want a 15 rounder before I leave, man. Goodness. Wow. 15 rounds. 14 rounds. You better get in shape. <laughs> you better get in shape. You better get in shape. I tell you that. I want I want them 15 rounds back. Mm. Yeah, that's hey, hey Jamar. You hear that, man? He said he's trying to go back to the uh Sugar Ray Robinson days, man, where they was putting in that work. Yeah, I, 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 I want at least one 15 rounder. Give me one. Give me one or two before I retire. You know what I mean? That's right. So let everybody know a little bit about your company because I understand you got a company going, man. Let everybody know about your company, man. Oh, I have an industrial cleaning business, man. We all factory work. You know what I mean? If you got a um you got a you got a factory, I'm in there. You know what I mean, we do we deal with um, you know, um silos, you know, sugar silos, flowers. Go in there, clean them out, power wash them, bakeries, um, chocolate factories. You know what I mean? You know, we, we do it all, man. Do it yeah, all. Because one time I saw you on the interview, and it seemed like you was at work. He was putting in that work. I said, look at Hank, man. He out there getting that money, and yeah. he's doing the interview. Yeah, listen, I had to do it. Listen, I don't fake my lifestyle, man. I'm living good. Mm -hmm. That's what's the right. What, what's the fake for? You know what I mean? You ain't, doing, you ain't doing nothing but faking out your own self. That's, That's right. right. That's so, right. So, Kiki, we got any more questions in the comment section? Um, no, I think I read them all up. All right, man. Yep. Hey, Hank, any last words for the people out there, man? Listen, they I'm want to come see you I'm, April the 15th. Listen, I'm going to end it like this. Y'all already know what I do. Y'all already know what I get into. And I tell y'all this, I'm that old junkyard dog that's sitting in the back of the yard that nobody wants to mess with or play with. The little pups keep on nudging on me till I kick them in their mouth. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I'm going to end it like this. Hammer and Hank coming to a city and town near you. It's hammer time. That's, oh, I love it. I love it. Let everybody know where they can find you at, Hank. Hammer and Hank. You know what I mean? Underscore Lundy IG. Facebook, Hank Lundy. You know, Insta, I mean, um, Twitter, Hammer and Hank. Y'all lock in with me, man. That's right. That's right, Hank. Well, every time I get somebody on the show, I always got to give them flowers because guess what? Tomorrow ain't promised to you. Man, Thanks. I love having you on the show, man. Uh, just talking to you is like a fountain of youth, man. I, you know, when I talked to everybody, I told you having you on the show, he said, man, you better get your popcorn. <laughs> and, I, and I was like, I was like, I already know I interviewed him before, but no, nah, real talk, man. You are a definition of realist of the realist. Appreciate you know, it. Your your spirit and the way you handle yourself in boxing should be adopted by all fighters. You know, all the fighters are always trying to, uh, I guess, navigate through boxing with that zero. Right. But what they don't realize is it's not the, your zero; it's the resume in which you fought. And like I said, man, you fought the best with no some on short notice. Terence Crawford, Chop Chop Corley, Jose uh, Zabedo, Victor Postal, just 
a list of numerous of fighters who was on their way up, and you took that chance and fought them. So for that, man, I always have the utmost uh, respect for you as a fighter because when they look up boxes at its best, they should have a picture of you like this, Hank. Yep. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> they should yeah, get that they statue, my, man. Set my brim punching on them, guys. <laughs> That's right. That's right, man. So if y'all out there, man, and you got your hands free, once again, man, y'all give it up again for hammering Hank Lundy, South Philly's finest. Um, Hank, I always tell people, if you got anything you want to advertise on the show, T-shirt, business company, man, shoot up, shoot it to Live with Light Skin Lou page, Instagram, Facebook, and we're going to make sure everything that you're trying to do, that we're going to push it behind you, man. If you beefing with somebody, Hank, and you want Live with Light Skin Lou to mediate that beef, guess what? Pull up on the set, say, Lou, Go to the back page, and we're gonna hate. We're gonna make it happen, champ. Let's get it. Yeah, that's right. Let's stay in touch, Hank. Man, have a strong training camp. And once again, man, we offer our condolences to you and your family, man. If you need anything, reach out to us, man. We there for you, brother. Got you. Appreciate it. It's all love. Thanks for having me. All right, man. Safe travels home, okay. champ. <laughs> yeah, I think he's still in. Hold on. Yeah, appreciate y'all. Thanks for having me on the show. All love. All right, Thank Hank, safe travels, man. I got you. All right, champ. That's right. That's right, man. Y'all give it up again for the hammering. Hank Lundy, man. Hey, look, that dude, he, he's a real one, man. He's a real one. He said he, he, said he is the junkyard dog. He's the dog that, you know, when the, when the, when the, uh, the lot is closed, uh -huh, they, they have that dog out there that's <laughs> always barking and all that type of stuff. And that's right. Scared of <laughs> so once again, Kiki, you know I'm in, I'm in interview mode. What's your thoughts on Hank Lundy? He's hilarious. <laughs> He's hilarious. <laughs> and what I like about him is he talk. Man, he ain't ducking no rat. He wants to fight everybody. He talks his shit. He don't care what he say or nothing, and he gonna fight you. He want to fight. He's just, he's funny. He's hilarious. He's That's hilarious. Right. I, I like watching his interviews. And like we said before, man, when him and Adrian, when him and AB fight, that's going to be hell of a press conference. Yes. That is going to be hell of a press conference. They're going to be going back and forth talking they shit. That, that's going to be a fight, like a, be probably better, better than the fight. <laughs> <laughs> But you I, see, he said when he said as soon as they announced it, they broke the internet. Yep, he did. Yeah, of course they did. Yeah, man. Because when we seen, I was like, oh man, like yeah. I seen a comment in here. Somebody asked yeah. it, "What's in my cup?" It's cranberry juice, baby. I don't drink on the job, champ. I take this serious. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, Kima did that. Yeah, what's up, Mo? I, I yeah. forgot. I forgot about that. That, that I thought they was talking to him. Yeah, it's cranberry it. juice, baby. Yeah. So, Kiki, let's go through the chat, man. Thank the chat for coming. Give it. Let's give it up for the chat, man. The chat, they always in here, man. The chat, they always show up and show out. So, let's go ahead and pay a little tribute to the chat. Okay, Kevin, you all, you late? I hope you didn't just get in. If you did, you missed the interview. Hammer and Hank Lundy, man. You can't miss Hammer and Hank. Okay, so we had uh, Daniel Christopher was in here. Thanks for tuning in. We had your man Spoon. Thanks What's for tuning up, Spoon? in. You had Curtis Hose. My girl Tiffany. Let's see. You had Boxing Enthusiast. We had Ernie. Hey, Ernie. What's up, Ernie? Uh, Andre Hendricks. Jamar Hill, my guy Jamar. Wheels of Steel Jamar in the Hill, building. What's up? Wheels of Steel. <laughs> <laughs> uh Thomas Thornton. Um, let me see who else we had in here. Um, Rod Gamble, uh, Rich Johnson, Tony K, Okima Mills, and let's see who else we had TJ. Hank said he was going to fight him. Uh, <laughs> hey, TJ, I'm going to get you some training, dog. You're going to see the junkyard dog, champ. <laughs> Martin King Boxing. Um, who else? Let's see. I think that's it. 
I think that's it. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yep, that's it. Yeah, we thank everybody for coming through the oh, chat. Oh, Benji, Benji was here. So we had Kevin. Kevin just got here, I think. Um, we had Benji. And that's it. Yeah, that's it. Hey, Jamal, mind your business, champ. Jamal said you ain't <laughs> drinking cranberry juice. <laughs> I don't drink on the job, champ. Uh, Ernie said... <laughs> I bet you won't walk your ass behind the gate with the junkie. Who are we talking about, TJ? <laughs> yeah, that's my guy, uh, man. Bernie said, great show, Lou. Wait, I appreciate you, man. <laughs> appreciate you guys for chiming in, man. It's yeah, thank y'all for coming back tonight. I know, you know, last night we had cancel at the last minute, so I appreciate y'all coming back in tonight to chill that's with right. us. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so, man, we about to close the show down, man. I got to go back here. Kiki want to see me play the piano back here, man. So I got to get ready to go back here and play the piano, man. I got to show, hey, Ernie, I got to show her I can play this piano, champ. You got to get your John Legend on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm about to go get my John Legend on. Y'all see back here to my right, man. I got a, a piano oh. just in the house, man. So, you know, <laughs> Kiki want to see if I could play the piano, so I'm about to go back here, man, and play this piano. And, and uh, saying we're just ordinary people, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something like that. But now, nah, real talk, man, we appreciate y'all for coming in, man. As I always say before every show ends, man, stay humble, stay hungry, mm -hmm. and always live your life to the fullest because tomorrow ain't promised. Not prom you. Oh, and tell everybody to follow us, y'all follow us, all social media handles. That's your IG job. live with light skin Lou, uh, Twitter live with LSL, Facebook live with light skin Lou, uh, TikTok live with light skin Lou or live with light skin Lou show. Um, what else? I think I think that's it. Oh, yeah. and make sure if y'all haven't already hit that like button and that subscribe button. Yeah, don't come in my house without wiping your feet. If you leave out, hit that like button because guess that's what? Right. I'm gonna know if you didn't, and I'm gonna get your ass tomorrow when I come to work. <laughs> You already know. But no, y'all, for real, we appreciate y'all for coming in, man. We up out of here. Peace. Peace. Uh -huh. Yeah. Nah, nope. Bruh. Yo, where you at? Where you at? My homie Lou on the mic. The mother hosts need to stop. They ain't doing it right. If you ain't turned in the loop, what you doing with your life? Conversation so sharp, it ain't your usual night. We got athletes, entrepreneurs, even celebrities. Politicians discuss nationwide discrepancies. Hardcore tackling issues in our community. Spreading on knowledge, creating the opportunity. Tune in live with light skin Tune in live with Light skin, 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 light skin